and when his father died, he became the Earl of Besborough. I see. Okay. I had, I had down that he was a Viscount, but that was before his father died, yeah, and then a, he that's became the first Earl. Yes. I see. So mm -hmm. in the family. And when he became an Earl, you became a Countess. Yes. Automatically. Okay. Well, yeah. you know, Americans are not that familiar with those. I, I had to learn it all too, mind you. Was it confusing <laughs> for you? Hmm? Was it confusing to no, become? No, no, I got it right away pretty well. <laughs> well, you're very quick. Um, but the whole relationship between England and America, you went back and forth between the two countries throughout oh, your life. my life, I, 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 back and forth. And so you have been involved in helping those I've been two in countries. coming here. I mean, ever since, I mean, you know, to the university. And I remember when it was all dilapidated, this room. And now it's been turned yes. into a beautiful art gallery. But this work that you've done uh, for the ben Benjamin Franklin House. Now we think uh, of that's another thing. Benjamin Franklin, we think of with respect to Paris, not so much to London. But you've been involved. No. In so the, then I married, and, and, and then I married, and living in England, and uh, uh, we had my my f husband had an estate uh, called Stansted Park in Hampshire, in and, Hampshire. Uh, and then my daughter w w was born uh, in England. She was born only just, we were just back from, from, from the embassy life in, in, in Paris, and she was born. And then uh, we all, all up, she brought up in London, and we had, a, we had a, an apartment in, in, in London. And, um, Do you uh, still have a residence in London? No, no, no. I'm not allowed because of taxes. <laughs> so you're, you're here for good now. Oh, uh, yes, this yeah. is my, back in my home. Now, I, and I moved back because of taxes, you see. Now, tell I, me something. I, I love living in England, I must admit. I loved it. You do? Do you miss it? I missed it for a long time, mm. but I'm, I'm, now I'm, you know. If I were to here. ask you what are the differences between London and Philadelphia, what would you say? What are the most striking well, differences? Philadelphia is so cultured. You, you, you sort of feel, and, and, and with all the modern techn te technical approaches um, and all that sort of thing, I, 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 now I don't miss it because uh, all the uh, technology. Well, what did you miss uh, in London? Did you miss I don't, I, the history? I don't miss anything now. Well, I'm so busy being old. <laughs> but, uh, um, You've met many interesting people throughout your life. I know that. Who are some of the most memorable people that you've met? Well, I, 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 I starting with uh, uh, the um, the king, of the, the, mother, uh, the present queen, mother and father. I had the honor of meeting, and I met Churchill. You met Churchill. I had lunch with him at the British Embassy. Uh, what kind of man was he? Oh, he was lovely. He was lovely. He did, we were doing about six or eight of us for lunch at the British Embassy, and he'd just come back from Rome, and there was a big party in, I mean Venice, excuse me, not Rome, Venice, and there was a big party, and uh, he, I don't know if we, we went for the party or what, but uh, because it was just well after the Second World War, and so, um, and then he being prime minister and all that sort of thing, and, uh, uh, and he just got in that day, and he, we, I was asked to lunch because it would be connected with my husband and the embassy, and you know, I was invited to lunch. So I enjoyed that. I thought that was a great honor. And were you a he, he, were you a party girl? Um, do I like parties? Yes. Yes, I, I suppose I do. <laughs> Did you, so you, were you somebody who was sort of in society, very much in the, in the um, uh, very much attuned to what was going on, on the, uh, 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 among the well, uh, I, I'm, I'm jet not, set? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not really very uh, sort of pushy, mm. uh, sort of thing. I, uh, I just I sort of fell into my life, you know what I mean? Uh, and with my husband was very uh, in on, on, on everything, and um, uh, we um, we went to we went to South Africa because he was uh, he spoke in the House of Lords. Uh, we um, uh, 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 what's it called apartheid or something like that, and uh, he um, 
and, and, and we, we, we got, and so the South African government gave my husband a free ticket down to, to Cape Town, and he goes, uh, he had to pay for me <laughs> to go along, and that was all very interesting. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Benjamin Franklin House in oh, yes. London? No, oh, yes, how that started. Um, Sean was born, yes, it was in the, in the 50s, in, in, in the, in the, in the um, uh, early, no, in the late 50s, um, I, uh, I, I don't know how, my husband, oh yes, took me to uh, the Franklin House for, for a meeting, for, for, for sort of a, a lecture, yeah. tiny little house, it was sort of two up and two down, and, uh, and, we, and in the parlor there, um, which was apparently Benjamin Franklin used it. Uh, that was uh, all, already uh, taken over by a friend of my husband's and uh, who wanted to have his uh, office there. Uh, but it had a plaque outside on the wall that we put by the, uh, the London County Council uh, saying that this is where Benjamin Franklin lived and all that sort of thing. Um, and it gets, but it was sadly only gave his, uh, his birth and his, de and his death on it instead of the exact year he lived there. But he lived there about 16 years. Really? In, in, the, in that house. And it's 36 Craven Street. And, uh, and somehow um, I, 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 I got involved with it. Uh, oh, yes, uh, through, because my husband was a member uh, of the British Society of International Understanding, and he was chairman of it. And they had their uh, office, I mean, their uh, Yes, our office and a uh, gentleman called Mr. Goldsmith, uh, who who ran it, his director, and they, they and lots of retired uh, diplomats and things like that, like my husband, uh, were, were on the board, and uh, and, and then uh, somehow uh, I was asked if I would, being a Philadelphian, I uh, would uh, try and get up a group of friends to. to both sides of the Atlantic. So I said, I think I could try. And it, 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 it worked out all right. And uh, So visitors to London can now can visit the Benjamin Franklin House. And now, now of course, it, it, and the, the, the English group got very interested in it. And now it's run by, by a, the, an English group. I see. By, by um, Sir, Sir Robert, um, or Sir Bob, as he was called, uh, 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 Reed. And he started it. He, he, he used to run, the, he used to be on the British Rail. <laughs> There's another Sir Robert Reed on the British Rail, so I'm getting slightly confused. So my, our, our one who helped me with the Franken House, uh, he, was, he was called Bob, you see, to, to differentiate them the two. And the Queen even knew, called him Sir Bob Reed. And so to differentiate him from the, the other two, the Robert two, Reed. The two, the two Reeds. Okay. Now you were a painter. Well, you, to, hmm? you painted at one time. You you liked to paint. Yes, I, I, it's my, my hobby. It was. It was. Your... I mean, and now I don't do it anymore because I, I haven't got the setup for it. Did you have a chance ever to meet any famous painters either in Europe or in this country during the time that you were doing your own well, I work? I mean, I'm a great fan of, of uh, all, all the various. Um, painters uh, over the time, you know, and um, uh, uh, and ones that, are, that, that weren't on my t my life, uh, a great fan uh, uh, of them, and um, uh, I, I don't know which would be my favourite, but um, I, I love them all. I love the French Impressionists, you see. Well, can you? Um, I guess we have to wind up now. We're ending. We're getting to the end of our time for oh, this yeah. interview. Um, I haven't really told. Is is there an event in history that you've lived through? Because you've lived a long time, as I said. It as will be I not, say, you, you've had a long, very long, and, and interesting life. Um, what would you say is the most interesting or memorable event that you've lived through? I mean, you did live through World War II, so that must have been a very powerful time oh, yes, to I be mean, alive, uh, difficult uh, time to be alive. But, but I mean, I remember when the, that, that broke out, the war, yeah. uh, and the, uh, the, the, the um, uh, what was the name of the ship now? Uh, it came in and, and collected us. It was British, it was Cunard Line. Uh -huh. and, um, 
uh, came and got us at, at Bordeaux. And took my you brother, back to my, my father and me, my, not my brother. I lost my brother before, the best before that, uh, and, um, or during that time. Uh, and, um, but my fa father and I were in Vieritz when, that, when the Second World War broke out. And then we went to Bordeaux and took the, um, uh, what was the name of the ship? It was a Cunard line. Um, the Queen Mary, or? No, 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 that was, it was afterwards. It was afterwards. But they, that ship took you back to America then? And it took us back to America. I see, okay. And then we, then we stayed. Then I joined the American Red Cross. Okay, so nursing. you joined the and American I, Red Cross. Yes, and then I, uh, I joined, not, not, not the, uh, uh, I joined, joined the, reg the actual nursing side of it. You see, there's the all mechanical side of it. You could be an ambulance driver or something like that. But I did the nursing side of it. Okay. And that was interesting. I did that uh, in New York. Okay. New York. Uh, so you must have. Living in New York then. You saw wounded soldiers yes. then coming yeah, I back lived, lived from my the youth front. In, youth in New York, really, or, or during the war and everything. Well, it sounds like you've had a very eventful life. And I want to thank you very much for joining us today, Lady Bessborough. Well, well, thank you, dear. And thank you for joining us as well on the Drexel interview.